Medicinal cannabis activists, uh, advocates are calling for an amnesty following t allowing terminally ill people easier access to the drug. They claim mountains of paperwork still force people to use illegal sources, but the state government insists the rules have been relaxed, particularly for the terminally ill. Once cannabis was seen as a medical miracle, but then along came this man, America's narcotics chief, and it became the mark of a maniac. But today's conference is more than a potted history of pot, it's advocating for change. Using cannabis for medicinal purposes is legal in Australia, the federal government saw to that. But the procedures for obtaining it are up to the individual states. Dr David Caldicott says they still make the drug too hard and too time consuming to get. Well, I think an interim measure that would be useful would be an amnesty uh, for those who are um, trying to access medicinal cannabis for a small range of indications. That's not an amnesty for everybody, but there are certainly people for whom that this could be very beneficial right now. He says that would stop people obtaining cannabis illegally for medicinal purposes. Advocates also argue doctors largely remain unaware of the drug's uses, so education is needed along with changing the law. Well, the appetite for an amnesty in the community is huge. I know this from many, many people that I've spoken to and people who have lost their supply of medical cannabis because we don't have an amnesty at the moment are absolutely desperate to get it for themselves or for their loved ones, to end their chronic pain, to end their debilitating seizures and nausea. This is absolutely necessary. The state government says the law has been changed to ease access to medicinal cannabis, but there's still an overlay of federal regulation. Simon Royal, ABC News, Adelaide.